Hey, it's Jag. Let's see what we can do with this top. In the first part of uh, this video for the uh, reworking of the uh, uh, of the workbench, um, I got the casters on, got it so it's movable and all of that. And I said the next thing I wanted to do was take the top off and uh, reclaim this wood, clean it up, and make it into a better top. So. Uh, I'm going to start today by, by getting these planks off and, and seeing what we're dealing with. All right, well, I got those four planks off. I wasn't being too precious about it. Uh, this is a very old workbench, already has lots of nicks and dings. There's uh, two places where there's holes, don't really know what for. Uh, they're triangular, not really round. Maybe there's some kind of dog hole or something. And there's some screw holes in it. I had a vise mounted on here for a while, and I had a uh, my old drill press mounted on here for a while too. So I'm not really too worried about uh, little nicks and dings, and I'm not going to try and make a perfectly flat top. None of these boards are twisted. Uh, they do have a bit of a bow this way and a couple of them are cupped a little bit. Like I say, I'm not going to be too fussy about this, but I am going to run these through my planer uh, to clean them up a bit. Uh, and uh, they're not, like I say, there's a little bit of a, a bow, but not much. Uh, so when I get these cleaned up and hopefully they'll flatten out just a little bit and then I'm just going to trim the sides so I can laminate these uh, these together into a top. I'll have to probably get some extra wood uh, to make this as wide as I want it. Right now the frame, the total depth of the frame is uh, a little over 22 and uh, two and a, a little over 22 and a quarter, 22 and three eighths. Uh, 22 and 3 eighths on this side too, uh, 22 and a half, uh, so good enough. Uh, the top is, uh, seems to be, it's not perfect, but it's, it's all flush enough, uh, all the way around that I'm not going to worry about, uh, redoing anything. I might trim down, uh, just a little bit here. That's a little high. This is okay. Yeah, uh, I just have a little bit of this trim is high on this side and on this side and this one leg might be a little high. So I'll probably uh, trim those down a bit too, uh, but that's going to be the extent of it and then I'll get the top back on. I think next thing is going to be breaking out my, uh, my thickness planer and uh, seeing how well we can clean these boards up. Uh, Actually, no. These do seem a little wetter on the bottom side here. So I think I'll put these out with the uh, bottom side to the sun and see if they straighten out a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll deal with uh, um, these little inconsistencies in the top. I'm cheating uh, a little bit. Um, th these are just uh, maybe a 16th or... Uh, maybe 330 seconds high, just over here it was. Uh, I, I'm cheating by using my uh, Ryoba saw and I just, uh, I cut that flush. Uh, I'm just going to cut this end flush and there's one over here to cut flush. And then I'm going to go around this with a disc sander or some 80 grit and just kind of smooth everything all the way out here and that will be good enough for me. Okay, that's actually working really well. Uh, do I need to do this one? Nope. So it was just these front corners that I needed to level off a bit. Now I'll go around with a, a sander and uh, we'll see where we're at after that. Well, this bench won't win any awards uh, for spectacular, perfect joinery or builds, uh, but it is uh, really solid. Um, it's uh, 
I've got everything leveled off uh, fairly well. Uh, this one support here dips down just a little bit on this side, but otherwise it's, it's flat all the way around. So uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I've got the, uh, the pieces for the top out drying in the sun right now. I'm going to let that happen for a little while. Um, what I think I'll do right now is uh, stiffen up these, uh, these joints. Uh, with some some screws. I've got some some three inch deck screws So we'll just uh, screw those in and that will make this uh, even that much more solid That screws in most of the joints at the top. Uh, I'm not going to put them in the middle where the shelf is. It feels <laughs> very solid right now the way it is. I can move it a little bit, but I think once the top goes on, it's not going to shift or shimmy much, if at all. Um, if I do still feel like it could use some uh, tightening up on the bottom, I can always do that again later. But uh, I don't want to go too far uh, with this at the end of the day. It's, uh, it's shop furniture and it's not a precision piece, uh, so I'm good with it now. Next thing to do is uh, plane, uh, plane the four planks for the top and figure out how much I need to cut to make it full, full width again. I've skimmed off the uh, edges on all four of those boards uh, just to trim them up. Uh, the boards look like they're fitting together fairly tight. Uh, I may take another skimming pass on them uh, after I clean the faces of the boards. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when that's done. The boards are all um, cupped a little bit. Uh, a couple of them are almost totally flat. Um, three of them were cupped this way on the countertop. The other one was cupped this way. So the one that was this way, I'm turning over. So you'll see that when it goes through, there's one that will have a really clean face already and that's because it's a bottom face. None of them seems to have any, any major twists. Uh, one or two have a little bit and uh, I'm just going to run this through and, and see how that works. I know I could do a lot to make this perfectly flat. That's not what I'm after. I just want to clean up those faces and get this put back together. So here we go. Planing all of these uh, boards went uh, really well. They're nice and clean. They fit together reasonably tight. I think by the time I uh, glue and screw everything together, uh, they're going to be tight enough. If there's a little minor gap somewhere, I'll fill it with some sawdust and, and glue, maybe. They all do have a little bit of a, a, a bow, a smooth bow. And it's, all, it's about exactly the same for all of them. So I put them so that the bow is the same way uh, on all of them. And it's, it's up in, in the middle. So when I screw the top down to the braces across here, that will pull them down. I also will clamp the boards together as I put them in, screw them in, and then uh, we should be we should be good to go. Like I say, I'm not going for a, a perfect top. What I've done is I've put um, packing tape around the top of the frame because I do want to be able to get the top off if I need to. But rather than clamping this separate and going through all of those things, I'm just going to go one board at a time, uh, screw it in, glue the next one, clamp it to that one, screw it in, glue the next one, clamp, and so on. Uh, so at the end of this glue up process, uh, the bench top will be pretty much what it's going to be. Uh, once the glue dries, I will uh, go over it with a sander, make things smooth, uh, put, a, put a chamfer around the top. You can see I've lined up the boards uh, already. Uh, I've lined them up so that this one little, uh, I had to put a, that's about an, a two and a half inch uh, piece back here. And it's lined up right with the, uh, the back uh, legs flush. And then everything comes forward and that gives me about a, a one inch overhang up at the front here. 
Also, I had originally intended to just uh, put the boards back in using the original nail holes uh, for the screw holes, but to get this to fit uh, so that everything fit together uh, as tightly as possible, that uh, isn't going to work. So I will be uh, screwing, uh, drilling and screwing new holes and uh, if I feel like it, I'll, I'll dowel all these other holes. There's lots of holes in here uh, from what has gone through over the years. And unless it really bothers me, I'm probably not going to do anything about that. I may put some sealer on the top or not. I, I, I don't know. Uh, not for any other reason than to just make it look a little bit uh, spiffier. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clamp this back one in place and then I'm going to put the screws in to hold it and then all of the other ones will butt up against that one as I put them on. And of all the boards I used, uh, this one is the most uh, uh, twisted or warped. Uh, so I'm going to force it into shape. Uh, that's why it's at the back. I don't really care much about it. Once I sand, as long as the uh, transition here is smooth, that's all I'm uh, concerned about. Thinking a little more about this one, uh, I'm not going to screw it in right now. I'm going to leave it clamped, put all the other boards against it, uh, get that, that all sorted out, and then uh, this one can go on last, so I can, can clamp it. Um, it feels level with all the other, uh, other boards, but if it seems a little proud, uh, I'm, I might have to skim a little off with the planer. So the plan has changed a little bit, so we'll start by uh, screwing this one in place. Then we'll glue this one, glue this one, glue this one, and we'll glue that one last. I'm sinking the screws below the level of the table so that uh, when I sand or if I plane I don't hit a screw. I'm also countersinking them deep enough that I could uh, plug them if I wanted to. So I've got the top on. Uh, it's all uh, glued, screwed down. Um, there are some uh, little steps in it, so I will be sanding it, but that's all the time I have for today. So at the start of the next video, I will uh, get these pipe clamps off. Uh, I will sand the top so it feels uh, smooth, and uh, we'll get on to whatever the next job is after that. So like always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check my band One Soul Thrust. The links are in the description below as always. And until the next video, we'll see you.